Well, good morning or good afternoon or whatever time of the day it is that you're watching Intentional Thursday. I'm your boy, D. Ralph. Today's scripture text is found in 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. The New King James Version says, While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. The Amplified Bible says, So we look not to the things which are seen, but at the things which are unseen. For the things which are visible are temporal, just brief and fleeting. But the things which are invisible are everlasting and impressionable. The New Living Translation says, So we do not look at the troubles we can see now. Rather we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. And the passion, passion Translation, we do not focus our attention on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but the unseen realm is eternal. And again, my favorite uh, translation the God word we do not look for things that can be seen but for things that can't be seen things that can be seen are only temporary but things that can't be seen last forever so far the scriptures today's devotion is about the, the sight perspective of God the sight perspective of God. Kind Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the entrance of thy word which bringeth life and light. We pray, pray that the gospel of Jesus Christ shine bright as always. May the people be blessed by thee and never impressed by me. May the anointing of the teacher preacher be upon me. Now open our ears that we may hear, comprehend, and apply thy word. And we'll give you praise for all things accomplished through your word, through and by your word. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my God, my strength and my redeemer and every glad heart said, Amen. Well, let's dig into this lesson today. The sight perspective of God. The sight perspective of God. Paul's letter to the Corinthian Christians contains direct warnings calling for profound shifts in their perspectives and behaviors. Yet he is aware that some individuals would decline to change, fueled by doubt about his planned visit. So here we find the Apostle Paul's steadfastness in adversity serves as a powerful testament to the informative impact of God's grace by maintaining a grace-centered perspective. We, do, we too can rise above discouragement, tapping into an unyielding source of strength and inspiration. See, beloved, the way you interpret situations will lead to faith or fear. Again, the way you interpret situations will lead to faith or fear. This is why it is vital to immediately get God's perspective on everything that comes your way. God does not see things the way we do. His wisdom is far greater. He has a perfect vantage point. Fear does not skew or block his view. And he wants to share his perspective with us. We need to be, we need the mind of Christ. Rationally thinking has its limits. 
Faith unlocks God's extraordinary perspective. Obstacles become stepping stones when we yield to his wisdom, uncovering new possibilities and a deeper connection with him in and through by Christ Jesus. When something irritates us and temple tempts us to react, the Spirit of God wants to soften our hearts and show us how to pray. With every opposition, God will release his wisdom and peace if we focus our attention on him and become heavenly minded. So today, regardless of what happens, my fellow Christians, take a deep breath and find his presence. Ask for his perspective. And as you fix your heart on him, you will discover it. Well, as believers, have a choice on how we respond to people. As believers... We have a choice on how we respond to people. Just because somebody makes you mad don't mean you have to respond in an anger manner. The perspective should be God will vindicate me or handle the people, places and things that come against me. But God will also look at how I respond to those same things whether in anger or in faith. If you would reflect on how often do I re react to a person or situation instead of seeking God's perspective. Pray saying all-knowing God, forgive me for analyzing situations that cannot be understood without your insight. I indeed, I need your wisdom. I indeed need your wisdom. Again, I indeed need your wisdom. I ask for your perspective. As I fix my mind on you, give me eyes to see what you are doing and ears to hear what you are saying. In the heights of your glorious presence, you will show me the way. So boldly declare this declaration. God helps me see from his perspective. In your life's application, pause and ask God to show you how he sees something in your life that needs a fresh point of view. Then adjust your response accordingly. Again, in your life application, in your everyday living, in your everyday thinking, pause and ask God to show you how he sees something in your life that needs a fresh point of view. Then adjust your attitude, adjust your thinking, adjust your response according to his perspective. Well, the comprehension, understanding of the whole matter is ultimately we will join Christ in basking in God's radiant glory, forever celebrating the triumphant of faith. Until then, our journey will inspire countless others to embrace God's perspective through Jesus Christ, fostering a chorus of gratitude and echoes that echoes eternally. Well, Thank you for tuning in to Intentional Thursday with your boy, D. Ralph. Grace and peace from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. Kingdom blessings through the sight perspective of God.